Oh, uh, are we on? The first day of filming in Florida, and it's fucking freezing. <laughs> that's not nice. That's, that's, shit. There's gonna have to be some rating on this crap. If this is going live, Jesus Christmas. I'm never gonna meet Ann Curry acting like this. You're supposed to say, in five, four, three, two, one. Energy, hi, and welcome to my home. I'm Dave Hartzell. Okay, cut. That was awful. <laughs> I'm a graffiti artist from New York City. I just moved to St. Augustine, Florida to try to marry the two mediums together. It's been like my pilgrimage called David Darko. A big inspiration of mine is Andy Warhol, of course. Um, He's a, a pop culture icon, and, and I'm sure that there are many other artists out there that uh, emulate him and want to be just like him. Um, I don't. I want to be a little bit different, but <laughs> that's my own aesthetic. And I started selling my artwork on the streets of New York City in Soho on Spring and West Broadway. That was my corner. What? Um, and I did good. I had a little residual. I had a vendor for a while that he would start selling over in Williamsburg. And it, it really turned out to be this nice little underground business that I could moonlight with and, and eventually turned into my passion and my dream. And, and that is to paint on uh, plexiglass to make uh, pop art pieces in which they're just one strong silhouette. Um, popping off your wall and making something totally extraordinary, something animated, something loud, something unapologetic, something bold and real. And I think that I, if I take one silhouette of pop culture that, you know, can, everybody can sort of understand what that silhouette is and agree with the emotional stability that goes behind this one stoic, stentorian, pop culture iconic piece that I think that that's what I want to try to focus on and, and challenge my work. In a way, I feel like I'm doing my career backwards because I actually started in New York um, and I had a chance to exhibit my work in a section called Chelsea which that's like, for any artist to get that opportunity, that's, that's enormous. And I was thrown into that with my first collection called Yum Yum Takes Over Manhattan. And it was all of these animated people. And, you know, I, and I did very well. I didn't sell out on my first show, but at least I was in the hub of the entire market to doing it. Um, but then I needed a challenge, and I needed to move to the South to understand what that real mass audience is. Who collects artwork in a Bohemian gallery? Who are those people that buy them? Who, what is that audience? What does that mean, Bohemian? Um, and I came down here to seek that out. There's a lot of different little Bohemian galleries that, you know, that I aspire to, to try to make my mark in contemporary American history. Uh, I think that these are all historic pieces, and I think that I want to take a chunk out of that. This is a, a real artsy kind of town, and it's a, a best-kept secret, and I want to know the secret. Because I think once you, you know, Frank Sinatra says, once you make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Well, I want to prove that theory. I want to see what it's like in the trenches to really get back to that New York City mentality in which I could get into the Guggenheim, which is the ultimate goal, for sure. I think that uh, I have a chance. I might have one left. I've had nine lives and I'm on life, life number 11, but I I can do this. I can see. I can see the outcome. I just got to get the blades of grass, the masses of asses, the beige to like it. Mm. 
I'm going to make it. After all, marry fucking Tyler Moore. End. That's it. That's your ending. You can you can put that in print, bitch. What? <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> www.davidhartzell.com. That's D-A-V-I-D-H-A-R-T-Z as in zebra, E-L dot com. All around me are familiar I don't know. Worn out American faces. art. Yeah, right. Just you know, it's a it's a profession, people. I'll make a nice flower, sailboat, bird. Just give me a call. You want a canoe? I'll make a nice canoe. Still water, calming. Two.